one of the things we've done, we've uh, said goodbye to uh, Mr. Tom Allen and Mr. Ken Waters, two very fine men who worked hard for Anderson County for a long time, and then welcomed two new people, Councilman Jimmy Davis and Councilman Brett Sanders. And so we've been working with them and uh, trying to bring them up to speed on where we are in certain things and finding out what they want us to do and what their goals and ambitions are, what their vision is from Anderson County. So we've been spending some time doing that because they are the elected officials and in essence we're trying to provide them with all of the background. This project's here, this project's here, this project's here. So we've been doing that. Uh, construction on the bathroom at Green Pond is finally visible where you can actually see it getting ready for Bassmasters tournaments that are coming there and the high school tournaments that are coming there. So we're excited about having the use of that facility. Uh, and we got some big tournaments coming up. we got here. some huge tournaments coming out there. Another Bassmasters event. Not the classic, but real big. But I love the high school tournaments because they bring in 8,000 kids and their parents, grandparents, and all those people. So that's really good. That's a really big economic boom. Bassmasters has the advertising effect and look where we are, we're at Lake Hartwell and that brings in a lot of people, you know, because of that event. We've had people move here because of those events. Uh, after many years of gnashing of teeth, we have actually completed phase one of the East West Parkway Park this week. So now the first phase is complete. Praise God. God. It has gone on forever in a day. So the sidewalk up to there is? The sidewalks, both sidewalks are there. Saturday I was out there and they were getting a lot of use, which we want to see. Now, the next phase, in essence, to fill in the middle is we're going to put a bathroom there because one of the things that we've heard from many people is we love the East West Parkway. We love to walk there. We love to do this. Boy, it would be nice if there was a place where there was a restroom there. So that's going to go in the middle with some other amenities. So we're going to be working on that. Some picnic tables are going to be? Picnic tables and things like that. We are, they're drawing up the plans now for our Kid Venture 2.0. So we're working on that. And we're also working on some paving and improvements out at the Civic Center. So we have that going on. And speaking of pavement, paving, they've got that list approved and they're getting the, the bids out now for the pavers. Uh, if, you, if you saw that list, which I know you did, of all the monies that were approved by the uh, <clears throat> Anderson County Transportation Committee, all of those, when it warms up, they've already been bid out. They're ready to go. We're just waiting on warm weather. So that's going to be <clears throat> millions of dollars that's going to be going out. So we're happy about that. We uh, are still continuing to work with new industry that wants to come in. We have several projects that we haven't announced yet that are getting very close to being announced. Uh, we're working hard with Abbeville County on the industrial park in the Honeypath area. We're working with Pendleton. We're on the phone with Pendleton today on another new development up there. Uh, talked to Mayor Mac Durham today about the proverbial problem on Minor Street. Hopefully we finally put that to bed and they can fix that over in Williamston. We are in the process of putting together a grant application to do more brownfields work. So we've got that going on. We are finishing up the lease on the property behind the old courthouse. We're probably just a little bit away from doing that. And, but they're out, the developer's still looking for tenants. And that's getting close to, to and, kind of having a plan, right? Yes, and we had a meeting yesterday going, talking with the city about what they're doing and what we're doing, trying to mesh all of those together so they complement each other, they're not at odds with each other. So that was a very good meeting. And allegedly, for the fourth time, allegedly, Groucho's is going to open the first part of February. Allegedly. I, he sent me an email and told me that, yeah. Okay. So I'll be over there and we'll see if it's open. So we're excited about that. Uh, talked to the people the other day at Grace Church. They're through with their demolition work, and now they're looking to begin the construction. So that's going to put some people downtown. They've been way behind on both of those. Well, But, I mean, people don't understand. Every project, everywhere, 
has been held up by this rain. Right. I mean, we not we don't usually have this much rain, and everything's behind schedule, behind this, behind that. So we've got that going and on. And gutting that old theater probably was more of a undertaking they expected because yeah. it hadn't really been much done when they took it over for local no, plays. No, no. Just... And uh, so that's taking place. We're going to be reopening the store at the Anderson County Museum, which has been closed. It is now going to be run by museum staff, county employees, and I believe that is next Tuesday at 5 o'clock. So that's coming up. And that's a place to find kind of hard to find local hard books. Hard to find and things and good things about Anderson County. Anderson County centric, you know, we're selling us. So that's coming and it's, up. And it's a good point at this place, I don't want to spend too much time talking about it, but people forget that it would be hard, you'd be hard pressed to find another city our size with a museum is, is complete and com comprehensive as we have. Look, I'm a big museum person. Our museum and the quality of our exhibits rivals what they have at the State Museum. That's my opinion, and I've been to both of them more than one time. Now, is it larger? Yes. Does it have more stuff? Yes. Charleston Museum? Great. Love that, too. But ours is jam up and wonderful, and it's only going to continue to get that way. So we're real proud of that. It's very accessible. And it's free. It's free, and they'll help you look for your ancestry, all kinds of things out there people don't know about as part of the local museum. And I think that the next program they have is going to be on a history written by Mr. Osteen. Well, it's a film on old theaters in Anderson County from 1905 on up. That's pretty cool stuff. And uh, the thing that uh, we're most excited about, or at least we got a big kick out of it last week, in uh, 09, our hourly wage rate was $13.98. Okay? That's horrible. Now, and we just got this number, and we don't have it hard yet, but we got it. Our hourly wage rate is $19.14. Now, that's a pretty good bump. So that's average? Average hourly wage. Some people make less. Right. Some people make more. And that is with the fact that a couple of our biggest, highest-paying wage producers aren't even online yet. So we expect that number to go up and to get where it should have been some time ago. But we're more selective in who we want to come in Anderson County. Uh, and the people who are selective on their own end want to be in Anderson County. And, of course, the one that people are referring to is Arthrex, which is not even, they're hiring some, but they're they probably, they open that and They probably yet. have 20 people on the way to 2,000, right. and we know what they pay. And Michelin's hiring, and they're doing great things. And uh, First Quality just had their big celebration. Uh, their fourth paper line is online, which we've mentioned before, so that's good. And a lot of our smaller companies just going gangbusters. And we're very happy about that because, I mean, they're just as important to us as anybody else. And as we talked earlier, we're seeing more commercial, more commercial coming in. People are kicking the tires and saying, hey, we didn't know this, like this wage rate. Oh, okay, y'all have that. We've got some grocery stores knocking around You've got people knocking around downtown, uh, not saying who's coming, but there's some grocery stores that currently aren't here who may be coming here. And uh, I know that you took a tour yesterday of the uh, new industrial slash technical high school. Anderson uh, Institute of Technology. Anderson yeah. Institute of Technology, which is going to be a game changer, which is going to be the first of its kind in South Carolina. We've talked about this before. But it's almost here, and that is going to give us such a leg up to help our existing industries, and it's going to help us recruit industry, but more importantly, it's going to take care of our people here. They're going to be able to get out of that school <coughs> and get a really, really, really good job. And the way it's situated, it's right here, and Tri-County Tech's right here. I mean, you stroll across the campus and you continue your education. And then if you want to stroll to Clemson or Furman or Anderson University or Lander, all of that's going to be available to you right here. So we're, we're very excited about all of that. How important is that Anderson Institute, Anderson Institute of Technology to the future, not just 
immediate thing, but it, 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 it's something that's built to adapt as time goes by. Well, what that's going to do is give us better workers than just about any place else. Because our tech school, even though they say they're the best tech school in the state, they are the best tech school in the state. And you're going to have them working in concert with them. Can you imagine what we're going to have over anybody else? I mean, they're going to be training EMTs. There's an agricultural component. All of these different things are going to be available over there in a beautiful state-of-the-art campus. Uh, they've hired Mr. or Dr. Couch, who has a reputation of being the best in the state. So this is not an Anderson County thing. This is a South Carolina thing, but this is really a southeastern kind of thing. Just like, you got to congratulate School District 5 for their vision and their work on this, and thank Brian White for getting in on the ground floor and <coughs> providing some seed money to get this started. <coughs> and thank <coughs> the boards of School District 3, <coughs> 5, and 4 for coming together and saying, well, let's just don't do this thing. Why don't we get together and do all of this big thing? So be a national model for a us. national model. So it, I mean, it it's awfully exciting, and school districts one and two, their career center has been gangbusters forever, and so this is just going to really help everything here, and uh, so there's just a lot of good stuff going on in Anderson, a lot of challenges. Pretty soon we'll start uh, turning attention to the budget. We now own the TTI property on 28 bypass. Uh, we want to make that a county center that will be there for the next 100, 120 years. We also think that's gonna provide a boost to Highway 28 that was getting a little down. But with the new high school there, that's gonna be a punch. Tri-County Tech expanding there, us taking that center and putting a lot of people over there. So I think you're gonna see that whole area change. So we're excited about not only having that space there that we didn't pay for, but having the ability to help that whole area. So. A lot of good things going on, a lot of good things. They're going to continue to go on. And there's an incubator out there, too, for new businesses coming There's out. going to be an incubator of what they call a soft landing zone, so we're excited about that. There's going to be research and development out there. We're excited about that. We're going to build a brand new shop so we can take care of our vehicles because Council instituted a fleet management program that's working very well. In the past, the sheriff had something. We had something. Neither one of them were very good. So the leadership with the council and the sheriff, let's do one, let's do it right, let's do it together and actually manage it like you should. It's already paying great dividends. And uh, so that's going on. Research and development's going on out there. And a whole lot of other things are going on out there. So And our airport continues to upgrade to allow for more. Well, again, the terminal is now out of the ground. And again, it was held back by the rain, but that's coming up now. So we're excited about that and the number of uh, other things that are going to happen. So, like I said, lots of good stuff happening. Okay, well, we'll catch up again in, at the end of February and see where we are. I guess the, the, the things that are passed forward in pretty quickly are, I know you want to see movement on the courthouse property quickly. Yes. That's but a real also, priority at this but point. But I also want to make sure that it is done right. And council has to review that and look at it because we got one shot one shot or you're going to have a, a mistake that lasts possibly 200 years and it's the part of the original county property that it is that is which is so is, important is so to me important. it is part of the original county property which has now been restored this whole block is like it used to be and right out there main street which people don't know used to be called the general's road is right there so that's that's kind of significant and that's kind of really interesting